Hi, I'm Alex Jordan from Long Color Grading at filmsimplified.com and today I'm not going to bore you with a long intro. Let's take a look at the problem. So, you have this image here. It, it looks kind of filmic, like it's not perfect, but it's not a, not a disaster at the same time. But once you increase saturation, it starts looking more like TV and it stops looking filmic. Now, we discussed before the... Uh, uh, color slice effect and how it increases saturation without increases the brightness of, of um, uh, the image. And I think this is the single most important addition to resolve in a very long time. So today we'll just take a look at it one more time. However, we're going to take a look at the workflow to use the color slicer. So in a previous video, we explained what it is, what it do, what it does. And in this video, we just need to look at how to use it. Like, I understand that it does this, it does that, but what's the workflow to use the color slicer? And uh, how can we think of its controls in a much simpler way? Let's take a look. Today, we're going to ignore all the uh, controls at the top. So density, color depth, these controls basically uh, affect the entire image. And we, we might use them a bit, but we will just ignore these entirely for now. So now, this is the image. Now let's take a look at a different version of the image that I created that uses the color slicer instead of the regular saturation. I'll move to the next image and take a look at this one. So this is the regular saturation and this is the one with the color slice effect. So regular saturation, color slice. You'll notice that this looks a bit more filmic, but you're not sure why, but it's pretty simple. Take a look at this section here. I'm going to go before, after, before, after, and notice that saturation did not increase the brightness. In order to understand how this works, we'll take a look at this image. So we have this image here, and if we increase saturation, the image is going to look, again, not filmic at all. Let's reset. So. I always wanted to start monetizing my video production and post-production skills, but I didn't know where to start and what do I need to have to even begin approaching clients. Then I found FilmmakerCo.com. They provided me with all the tools I needed to do things I never thought possible before. And to start approaching clients and making money from my video skills, their system made the process so easy and simple, not only providing me with the software tools, but also offering free courses that guided me and showed me what I was missing. And now I finally have clients of my own. I use Filmmaker Co. every day to get new projects and make existing clients happy. See what Filmmaker Co. can do for you and start your business today. You can go from no clients to a thriving business in no time. Filmmaker Co. Approach your first client with confidence today. Get your free trial today. No credit card required. Notice this red section here. Now, what I'm going to do now is to control the red section in the color slicer. Of course, on top of each control, of course, on top of every control, you have this button. If you click it, it shows you exactly what section of the image is currently being controlled by this uh, slider. So this slider controls the red parts. And here notice that on the red controller, we have four different controls. We have center, hue, density, and saturation. So let's start by increasing saturation. I'll increase saturation and notice that the red parts increase in saturation. However, this was a controlled increase in saturation. If I uh, reset this and go back to increasing saturation through the regular saturation controller, notice that the red sections are becoming brighter. The red parts are becoming brighter. However, reset, go to red now, increase saturation. And this is a much denser effect because we did not increase the brightness a lot. So we increase saturation through the saturation controller. Great. So what does the second controller do? The density controller. It's pretty simple. You can think of this as a brightness push down. So it's kind of counterintuitive. Whenever I increase this control, I push the brightness of the red sections down. Notice that if I bring it down, we're allowing the uh, red parts to become brighter. And if I increase it, I'm pushing the brightness of the red section down. So think of it this way. This one controls saturation. This one controls the brightness push down. Let's just call it that. Then to the top here, we have the hue controller. 
So this allows us to change the color that we're currently selecting. Notice that I, using this, I can make this blue, which is kind of weird doing this through a saturation controller, but you can change the color in order to match the colors in your image a bit better if you needed to. And finally, there is center. Now, notice something important. The red controller is controlling the red parts, which naturally means that there is some sort of a key being applied. So we're controlling certain pixels in the image based on their colors. So you can think of the center controller as a refinement for the selection. This is very similar to the qualifier effect, you know, when you select a certain color and then you can change the range that is being selected. Let's reset. So think of it like a very basic version of that. So this allows you to refine your selection. Great. So now that we understand how it works in a much easier way, so saturation, brightness push down, the hue and refinement. These are basically the controls. So I'm going to move to this image, reset, and we have the basic image here. I'm just going to bring lift down a bit, bring gain down and maybe increase. It's a bit great. I'll just add a new node and now we added a new node. And now let's try to increase saturation in the regular way. So saturation and the image started looking not filmic, basically like TV again, reset. And now I'm going to switch to using the color slice effect. So I'll click here in order to see which red parts are being selected. You can see that this uh, controls the red parts here. However, if I click on the second controller, the skin controller, it also controls some of the red parts. Take a look at the strawberries here. Some of them are in the red area and some pixels are in the skin area. So in order to remedy that, we can now use the uh, center controller to refine our selection. So I'm going to change the hue entirely so that things are more clear. And notice that now, even though I switched the hue in the section in, in the skin section to blue, uh, some of the pixels are still actually red. So what can we do to remedy that? We can use the refinement controller so that now we're selecting the correct color. Notice that now when I switch the center, when I move the center controller, I refined the selection to control the red parts that I need to control. So now that I'm done with that, let's reset the hue controller by double clicking on the word hue here and we reset that. So now if I click here on top of skin, I can now see that this controller now is correcting. Is so now where should I start? I will usually start with saturation. So I'll just increase saturation. Then I will start pushing the brightness down by basically pushing the density controller up and notice how now we're getting a much different look. So let's increase saturation even more, increase density. No, that's too much. And I'll maybe just bring it to this point. Great. And this looks beautiful. The, the saturation here looks beautiful because we managed to increase the saturation without increasing the brightness. And now let's move to this section, for example. And now I'm going to look for this color. So the cross so I'm going to click here. No, not for, not now. Uh, here, here, yellow. And it's basically in the yellow section. And actually a lot of it is in red also. However, I'll just change the hue of yellow so it's it becomes visible in the image, maybe make it blue. And now I'm going to move the center controller of yellow in order to control this section here. And I'll reset the hue controller. And now I know that this controller here controls the correct parts so the yellow sections that I need to control. And I'm going to increase saturation and then increase density, which is basically lowering the brightness. Let's go even further. And then I'll just control the hue just to get a better hue. No, this was actually good. And take a look at the image now. Notice how dense and beautiful the colors are comparing to, I'll just add a new version, delete this node, add a new node and increase the saturation using the regular way. So take a look at this and this. The difference is just unbelievable. And the beautiful thing is that you're, you're capable of achieving this now using this single controller instead of needing to jump through hoops to reach uh, dense saturation. So the workflow is pretty simple. First, you need to make sure that the current controller you're working with. So the workflow is pretty simple. 
So you start here. So this is one. You make sure that the controller you're working with is controlling the correct sections that you need to control. And in order to do that, you need to change the hue. So basically you change the hue to make it look a bit unnatural. And then using the center controller, you refine the selection. So this will be two. And then of course you need to reset the hue controller once you're done, then three, four, and then back to the hue controller once more time in order to control the rest of the image and this will always give you the best results i know this was a lot so let's take a look at this one more time let's reset increase saturation add a new version and now reset and start working with the color slice effect so let's take a look at this part it's not controlling much uh, you can, can see that this is controlling the buildings here and in order to make sure that you're controlling the correct parts i'll just change the hue move the center left and right until i'm controlling the buildings without controlling a lot of the ground here and then i'm going to reset the hue controller increase saturation increase density which is bringing the brightness down take a look at this section here in the image once i push the brightness down that's much better and you just repeat this again and again so basically let's just go to the grass here so the yellow parts change the uh, hue and then using the center controller make sure that we're selecting the grass correctly and then i'll reset the hue controller and increase saturation increase density uh, actually that's too much so let's just do it this way and then i can use the hue controller to change the color of the grass you know take a look at this and this and i can do the same with the sky so cyan here controls the sky so i'm going to change its hue until it looks really weird and then i'm going to make sure i'm controlling the correct sections resetting the hue increasing saturation increasing density but that's too much okay great now notice one of the side effects here i'm not sure if you've noticed the side effect that we introduced into this image that we need to work with now and we need to fix so this effect so the color slice effect actually has qualifiers built in so it's qualifying or selecting different sections in the image and then applying effects to these sections this means that there is this cross points between the different areas that are being selected and if these borders are not smooth you'll get something like this take a look at the edges here. Notice that we have this weird contrasty area that appeared around all of these edges. This simply means that there's something wrong with our selection and we need to change it a bit by now moving the center controller. So refining one of the edges, which basically I'm going to do that with cyan here. And now if we increase saturation, notice that the edges are way less visible. Finally, let's take a look at this image. I'm going to go to power grades apply this for one day i'm going to discuss this grade this grade is uh these two nodes are very i would call life-changing because they allow you to do a lot of advanced effects without fiddling a lot with color spaces uh, they assume that you have the smallest color space possible and they try to expand on that it's we're going to discuss this one day however for now let me just bring gamma down fix this just a bit and this looks beautiful and then i'm going to add a new node and again if we increase saturation it's not going to look good take a look at these parts here that's not going to look good so reset red no skin okay so it thinks this is a skin area uh let's just change the color uh make sure that we're selecting the entire area that we need to select hue and now increase saturation and reduce it but that's too much so let's just bring this down this way and bring this down just a little bit maybe not no no maybe i'll just bring the need to bring the saturation down more and just increase density a bit and beautiful then i'm going to change the hue just a bit mm, actually no it was it was good and notice the color of the uh, wooden background here. Notice how much more cinematic this looks just simply using a simple effect. So even though the color slicer is magical, it has some drawbacks when you're working, for example, with lower quality footage, just watch the first video. However, the, if you use the correct workflow, you can get unbelievable results with very little work. 
take a look at the blue parts here. So the blue labels here, I'm going to uh, click here. Yeah, they're in cyan. I'm going to increase their saturation and bring their brightness down. Now take a look at the labels here, increase saturation, increase brightness, and maybe change the hue a bit and much better. This looks beautiful. Take a look at the image before these changes and after, before, after even though it's a subtle change like it's a subtle effect but the other option would have been this i'll just add a new version delete this node add a new node increase saturation oh, i'm sorry my mistake increase saturation and take a look at the two images it's like a night and day difference it's unbelievable take a look at this uh, object. I'm not sure what this is in the background. Take a look at its colors here when using density and take a look at its colors here. This looked like a TV show from the 90s and this looked way more filmy. So I hope this was helpful. If it was helpful, please visit us at filmsimplified.com where you can join our free Davinci Resolve crash course that will take you through every tab in Resolve. Thank you. Filmsimplified.com